Dynamite moved to Tuesday to take on WWE's development. It was NXT versus AEW, but AEW did not get the W. In fact, they got an L, a big L, as NXT literally destroyed them in the ratings. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling here to look at the WWE NXT October 8th ratings, where they went head-to-head -head for an hour with AEW Dynamite, and they absolutely pummeled AEW Dynamite. This was like Shawn Michaels super kicking Tony Khan with sweet chin music time and time again. And it was not sweet for Tony Khan. In fact, I'm sure he's feeling pretty bitter right now as NXT got more than half a million viewers than, than AEW. Shocking, absolutely shocking. More than half a million. AEW Dynamite did 329,000. WWE NXT did 874,000. That is absolutely massive. 300, no, sorry, 545,000 more. That's an insane number. Absolutely insane number. 545,000 more fuels for NXT over AEW. Insane. Absolutely insane. Now, the first hour of AEW went head to head with the second hour of NXT, and obviously that seemed to affect Dynamite a little bit. Not sure if it affected WWE NXT yet because the quarter hour ratings aren't out, but yeah, this uh, is shocking. So NXT gets 874,000. It's slightly down on last week. Last week did 895,000. So they're 2% down on last week, but this week they had competition. Could AEW? have made up for the 21,000 that NXT lost, possibly. But they also had a different show. I mean, last week you'd CM Punk advertised. You had two title matches this week. Yeah, you had Randy Orton, you had one title match. You had, you know, you had some good stuff on this week's show as well. So, I mean, both shows were, were relatively packed out in, in terms of the card and in terms of appearances and surprises and advertising wrestlers. So, look... It's good for NXT, they want it the million, they're not getting a million, I don't think anybody realistically was expecting a million, but these are good ratings, back to back high 800 ratings, that's very solid, and if they can stay in the 800s, even if they go to the low 800s, even if they can stay in the 700,000 territory, they will beat AEW Dynamite more often than not, so yeah, um, good good rating for WWE, they did a key demo rating, of 0 0.24 which is down on last week's 0 0.26 but not massively you know so they're down a little bit on last week in both viewership and key demo but I mean nothing extraordinary and it's still a good rating for NXT and it's still a very bad rating for Tony Khan and for AEW and I mean it, it doesn't feel that long ago that these two brands these two shows were going head to head and Dynamite had the better of NXT. Remember when NXT was black and gold? They were going head to head, and yeah, AEW was winning. But you look at it now, and it's not even close now. I mean, it's over half a million fuels. And I get it. Dynamite wasn't on its, you know, preferred night. It wasn't on its usual time slot. But still, I mean, for it to be this low is shocking. Really shocking. So, yeah, NXT defeats Dynamite massively in the ratings and now we're going to look at the videos to see which drew for NXT so first place with 580,000 JSO comes to NXT to yeet with NXT champion Trick Williams that's got 580k the highest feud clip from AEW only has about 150k and that was Brian Danielson so again even Jey Uso coming to NXT that's getting over 400,000 viewers more than Brian Danielson, and Brian Danielson's the AEW champion. That's a guy that's main event at Mania and won the belt at Mania. Yet he can only get about one hundred fifty thousand. JS was getting five hundred eighty thousand. Second place, full match, three hundred eighty-two thousand. Randy Orton versus Javon Evans, again way higher than anything AEW Dynamite did. Third place, two hundred thousand. It was Stephanie Fakir backs up Julia, making her debut. Again, two hundred thousand higher than anything. That we've seen on Dynamite. Fourth place, 161,000. Title change, Tony D conquers Obafemi to become champion. Again, higher than AEW's highest rated video. Fifth place, we had Kalani Jordan, Bianca Belair and Jade Cargo. 
beating Fatal Influence. This had 130,000 views, so this one a little bit on the lower side. And in last place, we had Fraxium retain the NXT Tag Team titles against A-Town Down Under. And that came in in last. But even then, 68,000, that's still more than the majority. If you look at the majority of the AEW clips, WWE NXT's lowest clip is higher than the majority of all AEW Dynamite's clips other than free clips. So, yeah, I mean, NXT completely smoking. This isn't Raw. I mean, this isn't SmackDown. It's development. This is NXT. And it's easily beating Dynamite. Tony Khan, man, what's he going to do? What is he going to do? He must be petrified. He must be looking at these ratings and he must be shitting his pants because these are bad. These are really really bad and I'm not sure how he's going to fix them, I'm not sure how he's going to change this, how he's going to put it right. It just seems like they're in a downward spiral and things are getting worse and worse and worse for them. I don't think the guy can fix it. I think that it's going to take him to walk away or at least to put somebody else in charge and I definitely don't see Tony Khan doing that. So yeah, is what it is guys. But there you go, NXT not only beats Dynamite, it absolutely destroys Dynamite, beats Dynamite by over 500,000 fuels, over half a million fuels, and that is crazy. There is no war, whether it's on a Tuesday, whether it's on a Wednesday, there's not a war, but there could be a massacre if these two brands go head to head. And you know what, man, it's, I do feel a bit bad for Tony Khan, because even though I don't really like AEW and I don't really like Tony Khan, it's like, you can tell the guy loves wrestling. You can tell he's so passionate. And I will give that. I will say that to Tony Khan. I'm not going to sit here and say that he hates wrestling. You look at Dixie Carter. It's like she didn't really know what she was doing. She just felt like somebody that was there. Somebody that thought, oh, here's an opportunity to buy something that could make me money. She just felt like someone who was planted in the business. Uh, and maybe was in it to try and make profit. Even though TNA never done that. But with Tony Khan, when you hear him speak, when you hear him talk about wrestling... I mean, it's quite obvious the guy's grew up a massive fan. He is trying. I mean, you can't say that he doesn't try. I'm not going to sit here and say that Tony Khan is half-assing it and that he's not, you know, trying to infest or he's not willing to uh, sp spend money. Because he does. You know, he, he does. And he tries to bring in the best wrestlers. He tries to go on social media and get behind his product. He tries to get people to watch it. He tries to promote it. He, he's, he's constantly... He puts way more effort into AEW Dynamite than he does Fulham Football Club or the Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean, way, way more effort. There's no doubt about that. But unfortunately for him, Dynamite is just in a really bad place. Collision is in a bad place. Rampage is in a bad place. And this Shane McMahon move, honestly, can't come quick enough. It really can't. We need Shane McMahon to save AEW because right now, it's about to die. <laughs> if Tony Khan wasn't rich, this company wouldn't be around. I will say that. Anyway, guys, that's it. NXT bashes AEW. And if they meet again, I think it'll be a similar outcome. Till next time. Peace.